important to bring diversity together. We believe there is a close connection between climate change and energy issues. The emission of CO2 is closely related to energy consumption. So therefore, reducing energy consumption or using more electricity instead of fossil fuels is going to help us to bring that cause forward. We as a network uh, with uh, roughly 350 companies and, and associations with over 200,000 co-workers uh, within this network, we would like to contribute to finding those solutions because we believe that we as a society are able to overcome this challenge that climate crisis is. The Energy Lab isn't just about innovation, it's about people. People with distinct minds, backgrounds, that are committed to collaborate, to innovate through trust and uh, expanding mindsets in a network of networks uh, environment. We have a very large motivated and growing network already today with more than 200 interlinked industries and uh, academic institutions across Switzerland and covering all uh, relevant sectors and players and uh, of course this boosts cooperation in a very multicultural, heterogeneous and interdisciplinary manner. We know that uh, the energy uh, topic is comprehensive, is diverse and is highly relevant for society and economy in general. The Energy Lab, by acting as an open eco ecosystem, we get involvement of all stakeholders from the early stage and we allow also the addition of any new partners with the committed desire and expertise. It is important to have students in this kind of program of laboratory because they also can contribute to these very practical issues of the project that we are working in and of course this also enables them to have a different way of thinking when they go out to the companies and they have a different way of thinking of analyzing stuff. First of all I believe we want and must base on commercial interests of our players. Only by this solid foundations players will be willing to bring in their ideas and they will be willing to contribute. We want to extract and spin off energy relevant topics, combine them into system thinking and actually move them over and give them a bridge into collaborative working to bring topics ahead in terms of content and not only remain on the level of nice talking and having good ideas. Energy Lab, we have a five-step innovation process that's based on the innovation process we already live here in the Innovation Park. This is more an, like an accelerator-like uh, program. The project teams can apply, pitch the projects and get direct feedbacks. It's not a bureaucratic way. We want to have a continuous work on the projects. The Energy Lab follows a process that is using three phases. The first phase is the phase identify. In the identification phase, we collecting basically all the challenges and trying to pick them up and stage them together. After we stick together project teams to enter the second phase, which is the explore phase. During this phase, we are basically doing a problem exploration. In the prototyping phase, we are collecting all the problems gathered from the exploration phase and bringing them together to formulate new ideas. This is done by an iterative process using a lot of prototypes to be built and then the projects go over and search for another funding. What's an important element for the Energy Lab? It's also to have inspiring environments to spark creativity. And this is what we have live here at the Nest in IPZ. We have a lot of energy that sparks the creativity to bring in great ideas. Uh, ideation is part of our innovation process. We're using design thinking methods and also leveraging the relationship we're having with people from University of Luzern. The Energy Lab, we will address the gender equity issue in engineering sciences and um, different innovation projects, which was very low, but 
by supporting and having targets to include female participants in our uh, research projects as up to like 50% and we will make sure these female researchers are fully committed to recruit and mentor younger generation in these kind of projects. We will also design uh, uh, communication platforms in blogs or like LinkedIn, uh, which is entitled as uh, WELL, W-E-L-L, -L, Woman in Energy Lab and Life, to support, um, spotlight and celebrate with these communication platforms. We will hopefully discuss the experiences and challenges that people have irrespective of their gender, of their age, how they balance work, life and uh, family. And we will also go to different um, events like for example, vocational schools, that could be a workshop in vocational schools that we can have a direct communication with the younger generation to involve them in the discussions and, and in the challenges that we face and hopefully they become part of the solution.